Hey guys, this video is going to be quick. Um, I'm sitting in my car, obviously, as I make these videos, and in the back seat I have some books that I've read because it's been a goal of mine for months now to do some reading each day as part of my development of self-discipline and acquisition of knowledge and wisdom and things to help me ascend in my mind and my spirit in this sort of thing. So in the back seat I have about four books that I've already read over the past few months and uh, I've read others as well but the ones in the back here I was kind of reading during my lunch break at work so that's why they're in here and one of them is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, one of them is The Tao Te Ching, one of them is Imperfectly Holy by R.C. Blakes who has a pretty big YouTube channel which I highly recommend because it has been very beneficial to me and then the other one is uh, Courage is Calling by Ryan Holiday which I recommend as well and so I guess the point of what I was thinking about as I looked at those books and as I was trying to come up with some sort of um, topic for this video was this idea that in my head which I also when I say my prayers each day I pray for the knowledge and the wisdom and the ability to um, not just collect all of this information and things that I take in and uh, that passes through my perceptive faculties through reading, observation, listening, this sort of thing, and not just collect those in sort of uh, mental filing cabinets as like interesting snippets of uh, facts and knowledge and things, but to make it actually practical in life, I think to take that leap, to go that extra distance is, um, a whole other animal and a lot of this stuff um, you know bounces around in our subconscious and then is not uh, necessarily discernible to us like when we read stuff you know some of it sticks out to us immediately in our conscious and um, in our in our conscious state and then a lot of it passes through into the subconscious and begins to um, you know, like I said, bounce around in there and reframe certain ways of thinking that bleed into the realm of action and this sort of thing. But consciously, I think a lot of times I know for me and um, for many others, I'm sure as well, we stagnate in the realm of theory and we can't necessarily bridge the gap or we have a hard time bridging the gap between theory and practice. And um, it is tremendously beneficial to read these things and to acquire this knowledge and this wisdom, but at the same time, it is to serve ultimately, um, one of the purposes it is to serve is to benefit you and allow you to alter things in your life as you are no longer ignorant to them because you've been exposed to them through the wisdom and the knowledge that others have put on paper and um, so I think um, a lot of it has to do may maybe with um, what state you're in level of consciousness or some you know whatever you're going through in your daily life that certain knowledge will stick out more to you as it pertains to the stuff that is in your immediate vicinity that you are perceiving um, but the things that transcend all of that that may be operating on a deeper plane that may be of tremendous benefit to you how do we put those things to use so i'm putting that question out there and any feedback on that any suggestions any examples of in your own life how you do this greatly appreciated but um for me i think that when i align myself with a particular goal as in the development of self-discipline or consciousness ascension or manifesting your ultimate potential in terms of um, exposing yourself to new things and new ideas and pushing yourself through long-held fears and all these sorts of things. The books that I read that pertain to that, um, that is when I'm hyper aware of putting that into practice. So I'm, I'm thinking and I know that that's probably a big part of it depends on that it also depends on other things as well but um there's a certain switch we have to flip in our brain that transmutes the theoretical into the physical and i think that has to do with um 
a concerted effort and the desire to do so. So you must make the attempt and the effort to consciously consider doing these things and putting them into practice because at the end of the day all of this is going to stem from uh, the inner workings of your mind and goals that manifest from the realm of theory to the realm of you know the physical realm uh, we have to make a concrete and concerted effort to do this so we have to focus our attention on it you know we can't just um, take a passive role in it I guess is what I'm trying to say because then um, we're sort of uh, we're sort of beholden to the ways that the subconscious works in manifesting but in this physical realm that we appear to exist in things that we want to transpire require an intense and deliberate action and focus and um, effort so that's what I want to put out there you know I've read a lot of books in the past few months past year maybe and um, they are tremendously beneficial and tremendously interesting but I think ultimately I wish and many of us wish to translate that into practicality and have it um, color the physical aspect of our lives and, and uh, help us to ascend and not remain stagnant. So that's what I want to say in this video. Um, check out my other videos on this channel. If you could like this video, share, subscribe, leave your comments, your suggestions, your feedback, anything you might want my perspective on or some advice on that you might be struggling with. If I could offer some you know, some helpful words, inspiring words, I'll be happy to do that. Check out my other channel, Ray Rivera, where I do music and art. And um, the name of this channel is It Never Was About You. And the reason for that is that the suffering and the trials and the tribulations that we go through, a lot of times we get caught up in the idea of the why as it relates to uh, the illusion of the individual self and ego that we consider to be ourselves but it's not about us it's about first of all it's paramount that we go through these things as they temper us and forge us and as you know that quote says uh, we cannot be remade without suffering for we are both the sculpture and the sculptor or the marble and the sculptor I forget how it goes but you get the gist and um, this is to manifest to allow us to ascend and to manifest our ultimate selves and to push through the things that we need in order to strengthen ourselves mentally spiritually physically and emotionally to facilitate god's ultimate plan for us so the virtuous way to consider and reconcile our suffering and these sorts of things is as the ultimate blessings and teachers and to approach them voluntarily and confront them voluntarily with gratitude humility uh, courage and this sort of thing and to never frame them in a negative light or take the victim mentality but to know that as we grow then we are able to inspire and bring, lift others up and that is the true blessing and the true gift to um, rise up lift up the collective of others that we encounter so keep that in mind as well and thanks for watching